My name is Dylan, but you can call me Buttercup. Welcome to Buttercup Yarn Art, a soft-spoken video journal where I play with yarn and share my thoughts. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about, please leave a comment to let me know. The pattern I am working on today is the Sorrel Sweater from Woolen Pine. I have decided to put the thunderclap shawl on pause for the moment because I would really like to participate in this knit along that Totally Red Jess and Nerdy Fibers are hosting and if I keep putting off starting my sorrel sweater then I'm never really gonna even finish it in time and as well this is not the yarn that I ordered for my sorrel sweater that yarn still has not shipped um, this yarn was originally for a colorwork sweater. So this is the contrast color that I'm using for the yoke. And I'm going to use the main color for the body. Um, I haven't canceled my order for the yarn because I have another pattern that I would really like to make and that yarn would be perfect for it. So when it comes, I'm going to save it for that other project. So this actually rolls quite nicely into the first thing that I want to talk about today, which is knit alongs. So this is the third knit along that I am participating in. Uh, the first was a mystery knit along, and the second was a kind of mystery knit along in that um, the knit along started on the day of pattern release. So we didn't really, we didn't have access do the full pattern until the start of the knit along, but we had access to the entire pattern from day one. And those two were actually back to back. Uh, they were both shawls, and ironically both lace shawls. And as I talked about last week, I'm not the biggest fan of lace, but those knit-alongs were really enjoyable um, for very similar reasons. Knit-alongs kind of inherently breed a sense of community of making the same thing at the same time as a bunch of other people. At least for me. And I, I really, really enjoy that. I enjoy having, you know, a forum to discuss the pattern and the process and share progress with a bunch of other people all making the same thing at the same time. I think that's really, really enjoyable, especially during times when for whatever reason we can't leave our houses. Um, and they also help me learn a lot. Um, like the very first knit along, the mystery knit along that I did. Come on, Stitch. Thank you. Uh, the very first knit-along that I did, that mystery knit-along, um, 
they taught me how little I like doing 650 plus stitches of lace in a single row. Yeah. I, uh, I kind of cut off the pattern a little early because I was over doing the lace. It's still very beautiful. And, um, the designer was very involved in the knit along. She's like, yeah, you can, you can add the last section whenever you want. And I took that to heart and went, okay, this is too much lace for me, so I'm going to stop here. And I think that was a good decision. Uh, my original plan <laughs> had been to extend the final section for as long as I had yarn. But I think I made the right decision in cutting it off a little early. Um, the second knit along that I did was, like I said, a pattern release knit along. And I found that really, really enjoyable as well. Um, you know, I, I don't think that one would have been suited for a mystery knit along because it was 12 sections of the same lace pattern. But it was, it was really cool seeing everyone's color choices and progress and, you know, being able to say, hey, I, I'm having this issue, am I doing it right? And be able to get support from people doing the same thing. Um, and this one is much the same. You know, it's not a pattern release knit along, but it's a bunch of people making the same pattern at the same time. And being able to share progress with everyone and, you know, see everyone's color choices and decisions and all that. It's really, really enjoyable. And I'm really glad that I'm doing it. I'm also glad that I decided to change my yarn plans because I would have absolutely lost my mind with impatience if I decided to wait for the yarn to ship and arrive before I even started. It's going to be a much different sweater because of that, but I think I'm going to really, really like it when it's done. I'm also really looking forward to, you know, finishing the yoke and getting to color transition and getting to see the colors, not just as yarns next to each other, but worked up into fabric next to each other. I think that I'm really excited to see that and how it works out. Um, it's, I think it's going to look really good. And I can't wait. Um, and knit alongs kind of lead into the next thing that I want to talk about, which is online meetups, uh, both knitting related and non knitting related. Um, this last year, has introduced a lot of people to the idea of online meetups 
you know, video on and being able to see people and talk to people without being in the same room. I personally love video meetups. My friend group is scattered to the four winds, but we still manage to see each other on a regular basis because we do video chats online with each other. The main way, the main thing that we do is play Dungeons and Dragons together, but we're only able to do that because we're able to have online meetups, video chat, voice chat. You know, it's without that technology, I wouldn't be able to see my friends. So I, I really love it and I have loved it for years and I'm glad that it's available. And I'm really glad that it's coming into the knitting community as well. Um, there are weekly meetups for the Sorrel Sweater Knit Along, which I've really been enjoying. Um, you know, that very first mystery knit along that I did, there were regular online meetups. It's really, really great, you know, to be able to talk not just on forums, but somewhat face to face and to show off what we're working on and just have conversations. And it's also really interesting to see the differences in conversation and demographics depending on who is hosting the middle long and you know to see how different not middle long who's hosting the meetup and how different groups you know interact and how different meetups kind of moderate the conversations. You know, I've been in meetups where the entire conversation is limited to just knitting, just yarn, you know, just the project that we're working on. And on the flip side, I've been in meetups where we're all hanging out and crafting, but we don't really talk about it at all. The conversation is about whatever, and I think it's really cool. You know, we talk about knitting sometimes, but we also talk about, like, medical adventures or shopping for clothes. You know, whatever it is that happens to be on someone's mind. And I think that's really cool. I also really, really like it because I am the kind of person who has trouble making friends in real life. You know, I have trouble finding places to meet new people. I have a much easier time meeting people online than in person. And I get to have that sense of community and communication through these online meetups that I wouldn't have if it were just, you know, posting on websites and, you know, messaging on Instagram. 
and I've made, I've made lots of friends that way, but after a point you do kind of start missing being able to talk out loud to people, you know? And that, that's part of why I started making these videos, because I like to be able to talk about things with other people, and it is a bit different with the videos because no one's talking back, but, you know, I feel like I'm sharing with other people, and I like watching other people's videos because it feels like they're sharing with me and with everyone who's watching. So, you know, just, technology is amazing. And I'm really glad that this particular aspect of technology, this, you know, ability to meet up with people entirely online, has been brought more into the public consciousness because it is such an amazing tool. And it's such an amazing thing. You know, and I really hope it sticks around and is, you know, more widely regarded as a valid way of meeting up with people even once the majority of people are allowed to go out again and meet up in person. You know, I hope it stays commonplace. And that more people get to make use of this thing that has made my life so much better for such a long time. I really hope that it can do that for a lot more people. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.